Okay, when we're doing this skiing behind the horses, I like to have the horse pull me by the hips so that then I can use both hands nice and light on the reins and can keep them from pulling me on the reins. It's a, only a matter of time, I find, without this system of hooking up before you start pulling, the horse will be pulling you on the lines. Because you slide pretty easy on the skis. The next thing you know, they're getting heavier mouths and heavier mouths because they're pulling you on the reins. And when they do that, the more resistance there is on that bit, the harder they pull. And it's just an upward escalation requiring more and more force in order to steer, stop, and turn your, control your horse. Now, the only downside to this, you may say, is that you're tied hard and fast. Well, I'm not actually. I'll show you here after I turn around. Hold on. If I'm starting to get into trouble and falling down, whatever, I don't even have to really think about this. I've rigged a trailer tie on a quick release here. So all I have to do is just throw my hand and it automatically unhooks. So I'll show you again. All I have to do is just move this hand and it unhooks. About this is if you're pulling by your arms, trying to steer with one hand and hang on with the other, if you do any amount of this, you're eventually going to get fatigue in your arm, your shoulder. You're going to stiffen up, tense up, and it makes it really hard to do a real nice job of handling your lines. Not to mention it's more tiring. Once you get used to pulling along with a belt around your hip like this, you can do that all day, and, it, and you can keep a nice light, finger-light touch on your reins. And I'll show you again how this breakaway works. If I start to fall down, as soon as I tighten the, the string that runs from my wrist to this snap, it just comes unhooked. Oh, 